I've decided to do a really quick plot tour at the end of July because there's been so much change since I did um, the plot tour at the beginning of July and I'm not sure if I'm going to have the chance again in August because um, it's so busy um, and I just wanted to show you what crazy things have gone on since we were last here. So in the Blueberry Palace I've talked a lot about pink lemonade and the yummy yummy berries that that's been producing. Here's one, I'm going to eat one now and tell you what I think. Wow, it's so sweet, it's like dessert apple sweet, the taste of that, unbelievable. Here's blueberry darrow, look at the size of these berries, they are massive. And I'm going to taste one. Mm. Wow, also very sweet but a little bit sharper. Wow, still very, very delicious. There's my second pink lemonade. You can see how bright those berries are. They're beautiful. Um, there's Chandler. You can see the difference in size between a Chandler with the bright red splash there and the Darrow. Look how much smaller those are. I'd say they were a prettier berry, but a much smaller berry than the, the Darrow. I mean, a Chandler less of the sharpness that the darrow has but also very sweet um this is brigitte brigitte slightly smaller again that's the um liberty what i'd say about liberty it's got a lot more berries than some of these other bushy ones um but they are smaller so yeah loads of things going on in the blueberry palace um, very happy with what's going on in here and I'm so hopeful for next year because this is only year one of the Blueberry Palace. All these plants are new so I'm expecting bigger yield next year. Now I've not spent much time at the allotment since the competition judging on the beginning of July because I've been so busy. I've had my daughter's birthday um, and we've had people here every weekend so I've not done a single bit of weeding <laughs> since the beginning of July so it's a bit messy and a bit overgrown but there is so much to harvest so our summer raspberries look at these they're just there's hundreds of them I need to go and pick now this afternoon the autumn raspberries have really grown in height those all need tying onto the wires um, I need to go out and pick a lot of my <laughs> rhubarb that's huge the raspberries the strawberries are not in a two rows anymore again those are gone berserk kids beds are looking the same Sophie's put one of the sunflower heads on her plot that had fallen off in the wind that looks pretty and look at the sweet potato since last time you were here that I mean I could just there was black plastic everywhere and now they're nearly covered the whole of the black plastic carrots need picking those are coming out of the mesh um, poppies I obviously need to sort those out they're looking like they've been battered by the rain this morning then the sunflowers look at these guys they are at the same height as Bird Hotel du Sol now. They are massive. Mint's been battered by the wind, but my honeysuckle, again, battered by the wind, maybe a little bit burnt by the sun and the, and the rain, but the bees are loving it. Rose is still doing something. Um, quite a lot of wildlife in the <coughs> wildlife garden, which is lovely to see. Beetroot, I need to plant my second lot of beetroot here. Well, my third lot of beetroot, that will be actually, or fourth, my fourth successional sow of beetroot. One of the sunflowers has toppled, I need to tie that up. Um, then my cut flower garden, loads of lovely blooms on that. I need to um, go and cut some of those. Well, I've got a visitor coming to stay the night again tonight, so, or tomorrow night, so I'm going to have some more vases of those, but look how pretty loving those and the sweet peas i hacked those back um about a week ago and those are haven't come in back again although lots of seed pods courgettes just crazy i need to pick these there's a massive yellow one there lots of lovely flowers on the dahlias cafe au lait looking gorgeous look at that so oh, lovely. Right, there's the butternut squash over there. I can't get down those paths. There should be a path here and a path there. I can't get down these paths. So I'm literally going around <laughs> onto my neighbour's path. So I really need to do something about this. 
There's more courgettes down there to pick, look. So many. I'm overwhelmed with courgettes. But I mean, it's just like a jungle really. So there's the butternut squash. Then my newly sown salads in the middle. Little salad bed looking lovely and fresh. And start picking that, pick and come again. Spinach come back to life. Then the bean arch. So many beans. I'm gonna see if I can take you into the bean arch and show you just the quantity of beans. I would say that these Blower Hilda beans have been fantastic. Oh, look at them, I mean, just beans everywhere as you walk in. Look at this. Look at that. It's like bat cave for beans. The bean bat cave. Love it, love it. So I'm gonna spend another good 20 minutes picking those later. The cobra beans that were really dry last time, they've come back to life, so those are looking good. They're supposed to be really long beans, but well, I wouldn't say they were that long really. They look like an average French bean to me. Runner beans are coming. This was the Christmas tree. It's looking a little less Christmassy and quite heavy, but looking nice. It's growing everywhere, look at it. It's all up my rainbow. And some of my first beans to be picked there though. Very nice. Uh, I need to pick some peas. Rainbow chard's gone crazy. These sweet peas have had the best of the time now. They're really covered with mildew. They did look gorgeous and I did sell quite a few bunches for charity, which was nice. All the brassicas are huge. It's like giant brassica, brassica zone in here, um, but all looking very healthy. The Ranvaro mesh has really worked. I'm pleased with that. And then I'm on my last third of my potatoes now. I've picked most of those. Um, need to put something new in um, so I'm probably going to pick some more potatoes now and that will be it then but yay that's the plot tour whistle top stop one haven't got much time today um, but yeah thought I'd give you an update and <laughs> how much everything has grown since July it's absolutely nuts one last look at this butternut squash zone look at it it's crazy I mean it's almost as tall as me and just loads going on in there so somehow I need to find the fruit. <laughs> yep, but okay, that's um, my Grow Lottie Grow plot tour, end of July 2017. Bye for now.